So you want to ride your trike during the winter. Let's talk about that. So welcome back to Utah Trikes. As the weather is getting colder and we get into the middle of the winter, questions start to come in from customers and trike enthusiasts on how they can keep riding during the winter and keep their trikes in good condition while they do it. As you all know, we get a lot of snow and ice here in Utah, so we know a thing or two about riding when it's not the best conditions. We thought that today we would show you guys some of our favorite tips and tricks to keep you out riding while staying safe during these chilly and snowy winter months. Before we get into winter riding on a trike, let's take a look at one of the trikes rolling in through our shop this week. Hi guys, on today's trike highlight, we have Jerry's custom Sunseeker CXS. It is fully upgraded with a Lasco front crank set. We got upgraded brakes all around with BB7s. These things are great for stopping and adjustment on both sides. We have the upgraded suspension arms for better steering. These are all UT custom parts. We have our UT custom front brake lever, front and dual brake levers, which controls both the front left and front right. Moving back, we also have the Sunseeker metal idlers. Compared to the plastic ones, these are gonna be much more durable and last 10 times as long. You move all the way to the back, we got a 26 by four inch rear wheel. To fit this massive rear wheel, we have our um, UT Custom extension plates. This allows so you can go from the stock 20 by four to a 26 by four. With this whole upgrade, we got that rear brake as I mentioned, so you can have a rear parking brake so your trike doesn't roll away. We have the UT Custom rack with integrated fender. You can have this multiple different ways, just the rack, fender and rack, or full fender and rack. I like the integrated because it just, it looks clean, it's nice. Jerry, I hope you enjoy this trike. We will be shipping this out today, so you can ride as soon as possible. See you guys on the next trike highlight. Thanks, Chris. Luckily for you trike riders out there, a recumbent trike is actually a really good option for winter riding compared to a two-wheeled bicycle. Winter riding on a bicycle is a constant gamble of what you'll run into that'll ruin your day. The main culprit being ice along your path. If you're unlucky enough to hit an unsuspecting ice patch while cruising along the side of the road, there's a good chance you'll be eating some asphalt as a result. With a trike, on the other hand, if you hit a patch of ice, the worst that's going to happen is maybe losing traction and fishtailing, but a trike tip over almost definitely will not. With the trike's heightened stability and balance by having three wheels and a lower center of gravity, your icy run-ins are not going to be a problem. This is the main advantage of a trike over a bike, and honestly, that's the biggest roadblock for a lot of winter riders. One thing that's the same across both trikes and bikes is the concern of visibility. In winter, visibility can be limited because of blinding white snow or morning fog. These winter conditions are even more reason to focus on keeping yourself visible as you ride. Being visible while riding a trike is always a good idea. In our recent safety video, we talked about the best ways to stay visible and aware of your surroundings. All of those tips still apply during the winter, but even more so. If there's snow all over the ground, it's very important that you're able to stand out so that other riders and vehicles can see you. Fluorescent colors and trike flags can help you stand out and be seen while riding. This is especially true if you're riding while it is actively snowing. Lights are also very effective in a snowy environment. Snow reflects light a lot more than in other conditions, so when you have a front or rear light specifically, the lights will bounce off of the snow around you as they flash, alerting other vehicles of your location. With winter come snow banks, and it's important to watch out for these to avoid potential injuries that could happen if you were to collide with them. Lights can help with this too, increasing your own visibility of what's around you. And make sure to use this increased visibility to be aware of other vehicles as well. Roads can become icy and slick during the winter, so being aware of other vehicles and having the opportunity to predict their moves in an icy landscape can save you a lot of trouble. Make sure to use any other tools that may aid in your visibility as well, like mirrors or something like a third-party rear bike radar. 
Some riding practices are very important to keep in mind too. Just like riding any vehicle at this time of year, stopping earlier than you usually would is a good safety measure. Stopping early can give you ample time to come to a complete stop in case you may have stopped on a patch of ice or a slick surface that may make stopping more difficult. Being attentive is important too, so you can be aware of when and where you are stopping, giving you the time you need to stop safely. With harsh weather conditions, there's always the risk of getting stuck or stranded depending on where you may be riding. With that in mind, bringing emergency gear with you while you ride is a good safety measure. You don't want to take any chances with the fierce winter weather, and you can never be too prepared. It's also a good idea to bring a phone with you, and to make sure that it's fully charged just in case you find yourself in a situation where you become stuck and need to call for help. Even though all trikes are better for winter riding than bikes, there are certain trikes that are the best of the best to have for your winter ride. First trike on the list will be the Sunseeker Fat Tad CXS. This is the fat tire trike on a budget. It's got three 20 by four inch Chow Yang Big Daddy Navi tires paired with a shock suspension in the rear. These are a solid tire that have great traction and will do great on snow or ice. It has a total weight capacity of 300 pounds, making it accessible by many different sizes of rider and has the extra carrying capacity for your emergency gear. This is one of our most popular trikes and for good reason. It's a trike that comes in at $2,500, which compared to other trikes built for such off-road activities is the most bang for your buck. And with the lower price, you have a lot more room to add upgrades like a rearview mirror, lights, a motor, or anything needed for comfort. Now our second trike recommendation is the Ice Full Fat. This trike is a total beast and you know it's going to do well on winter riding because this thing was designed to traverse the South Pole. You heard me right. The Ice Full Fat is built on an optimized ice frame commissioned by Maria Leiserstam in 2013 for her White Ice Cycle Expedition. On this expedition, she traveled 400 miles from Ross Ice Shelf on the edge of the Antarctic all the way to the South Pole. In just over 10 days, she completed this world record ride with pedal power alone. After Maria's monumental ride, Ice turned her white ice cycle into the Ice Full Fat and manufactures it in the United Kingdom to this day. The Full Fat comes stock with three massive 26 by 4 inch tires and rear suspension. The giant tires are large volume and low pressure, which provide ample float and traction over soft terrain and bumpy trails. These tires also elevate the ice full fat, giving it high ground clearance. On top of all of these great winter riding ready features, it's still an ice at the end of the day. The full fat being built on an optimized ice frame still has the modular rear suspension similar to the Ice Adventure and features the ice compact flat twist frame, which lets you fold your trike quickly. And with such a big trike, being able to fold it up for storage makes a huge difference. The ice fold fat is a bit more than the fat tad coming in at $6,400. Lastly on our list of trikes, it isn't a trike at all, but a quad. The quad in question is our Revolution Equad RS. Sure, a trike is great for off-road and winter riding, but you know what beats three wheels in a battle of traction and stability? four wheels. With the four wheels of a quad, your weight is no longer distributed to just one rear wheel for traction, but instead two wheels in the rear, spreading out your weight and improving your ability to catch that traction. It comes stock with four 20 by four inch tires, rear suspension, and an under seat mounted thousand watt buffet motor. This quad is the culmination of years of quad conversions and custom builds. All the knowledge that we have gotten since we started has been used to make the best off-road quad we could and it can really take you anywhere. With pedal power and motor power, you can get the exercise you need while having the option to burst through any tough terrain or deep snow that would get you stuck on any other type of trike. There's also room for a ton of upgrades too, like a full rack, regular lights, light bars, seating options, and a lot of tire upgrades. The Revolution Equan RS is the most expensive option on this list, coming in at $7,000. Speaking of tire upgrades, we can upgrade any trike's tires and even put fat tires on your standard road trike. Getting fat tires on your trike will get you that better tread on ice and snow you're looking for for winter rides. We can add knobby tires onto any trike, and we can even upgrade a standard road trike to fit 4-inch tires with our UT Custom extension plates. If you want to go even further, we have studded winter tires that have little wire beads inside of the tread, giving you the maximum traction for the most demanding cold weather rides. These studded tires come in a variety of sizes for if you have skinny tires like on a cat trike, all the way to the fat tire sizes that you'll find on a CXS. Now, before leaving on your ride, it's good practice to check your tire pressure. With colder temperatures, tire pressure will usually fluctuate a lot. 
So before you head out on a ride, hook up your pump to your tire and get a pressure reading. If your tire pressure is under the recommended amount, make sure to fill it up, but not all the way. In a winter environment, you wanna have lower tire pressure, so it increases your traction, but not so low that you're gonna pinch a tube. Now that you have everything you need to stay safe on your ride, we still haven't talked about one of the most important parts of a cold winter ride, and that's how to deal with the cold riding temperatures. We obviously suggest dressing for the occasion. Don't head out into 10 degree weather and negative four degree winds with your bike shorts and cycling jersey. You're gonna to need to wear your warmest winter clothes. The obvious answer is to wear a winter coat and some warm pants. But I also suggest a face mask and gloves, as well as some nice cozy boots. The last thing you want is numb hands when you're trying to maneuver a trike. Main rule of thumb is to watch the weather and use your best judgment to dress accordingly. Now let's say, after this whole video, you've decided that winter riding isn't for you. Riding out in the cold just does not sound enjoyable, and you just want to wait until spring. That's okay. Winter riding isn't for everybody, and there's plenty of options for you during the winter season. If you still want to ride, but without the hassle of dealing with the outside elements, we've got you covered with the Overdrive Trainer. With the Overdrive Trainer, you can ride your trike in the comfort of your own home. Overdrive trainers essentially just turn your trike into a stationary exercise trike. You just prop your rear wheel on the trainer and you're free to pedal with all of the resistance of a normal ride. A trike trainer is also much more efficient than a standard bike trainer. A bike trainer is usually a clamping system onto your rear wheel or replaces your rear wheel entirely. But with a trike trainer, all you have to do is set your rear wheel on top and you're ready to go. If you want to learn more about the overdrive trainer, you can check out our video on this product right here. Now, if you would rather just not ride at all, now is the perfect time for maintenance or upgrade. When your trike is out of commission for three months anyways, might as well get some work done on it. A lot can be done with a trike during this time. Like general trike upkeep, you can clean your chain, change out tire tubes, lubricate bearings, and so much more. You can always choose to tackle some awesome upgrades. Um, a time consuming one that would be perfect for a brake like this would be a motor upgrade. We have motor install kits for all of our trikes, you can purchase one of these off of our website and it comes with all the parts you'll need to get a motor on your trike. Doing this during an average riding month is hard because it can take a lot of time and you don't want to be out of the races when the races are actually happening. So consider using this time to do what you've always wanted to do. If you need any assistance on this motor install, we have a video walking you through the whole process as well as a bunch of tutorial videos on a plethora of trike maintenance and installs on a playlist that will be linked in the description below. Lastly, whether you have to store your trike outside during the winter, or if you would rather wait to ride until it's a bit warmer, we have super handy trike covers to help keep your trike protected from the elements and possible dust and grime while you're not riding it. We hope you guys can make the most of these winter months, be that through continued riding or keeping up with your trike maintenance. Winter is a beautiful time to ride, and I don't want people to think that just because of some cold weather, you can't get out there and enjoy your rides all year round. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and hit that little bell down there if you want to be notified of our uploads. Make sure to leave a comment down below as well, letting us know how you like to ride during the winter, and we'd love to hear from you guys. In the meantime, remember to relax, spin fast, and ride trikes. I'll see you next time. I got rocks, you want one? That was measly. That was measly, Harold. I will not fall into your snare, Jared. <laughs> I just did, you said it's one. No, I didn't. <laughs> no proof. I caught it in 4K. I corrupted the file. <laughs> Video on this product right here. Right here. Right here. Yeah, that's where I'm pointing. We do that. <laughs> <laughs>you did this to yourself. I did. <laughs> I hope you got that through the camera. It's for you. It's so cold. I left my jacket inside. That's a wrap. <laughs> okay. Is that good?